For 18 months since I started this project, I have been experimenting with the best light to grow plants without carbon dioxide or fertilizers. I was interested in seeing what was most important, the light spectrum, the duration of illumination, or the light intensity. I found the answer, and I will explain every detail to you. But I want more. Is it marketing? Or is it really the next generation of lighting for an aquarium? Orange LEDs. Have you heard of these? We will also take a look at these new lights for aquariums. It was difficult to achieve this result without adding fertilizers. But it is possible. It should be mentioned that I had previously researched which plants could survive without adding carbon dioxide and without fertilizers. But even so, I think half of the plant species tested did not survive. In the first weeks of this project, the lamp power was 100% and the lighting duration was 12, 14 hours per day. Such light is perfect for plants. But algae also benefit from this light. But what to do? A strong light is mandatory at the beginning of such an ecosystem. To my surprise, the plants were growing. That's why I ignored the algae. I was hoping the algae would go away on its own. But I was wrong. For this reason, I gradually decreased the intensity and duration of the lighting. The algae gradually disappeared, but some plants also slowed down their growth and others died. And another mistake is that I let the surface plants grow uncontrolled, which meant that even less light reached the plants. I reduced the light intensity until I went from 100% to 35%. Some of the plants were growing, others were just struggling to survive. But something else happened. The red plants kept dying. So I increased the light intensity to 55% and planted new plants. To keep the algae under control, I bought some snails and fish that eat algae. With these light settings, the plants had the best evolution. back to the present. But I realized that I could still improve the lighting settings. So in the case of this ecosystem, the best lighting setting was the following. Light spectrum, red and white, 55%. Green and blue, 1%. Blue color set to 100% for one hour per day. Lighting duration, Five hours lighting, five hours break, then another five hours of lighting. These light settings were the best for me for two reasons. I noticed an evolution in plant growth and the red plants have intensified their color. And the other reason is that I have not been invaded by algae, except for green hair algae, which I have had for a long time and I can't get rid of it anymore. Did I say that the plants grew healthily? Well, the ones that can live in this ecosystem. Because some of the plant species apparently cannot survive without carbon dioxide and fertilizers. You will immediately see such an example. In the last few weeks, I have only fed the fish two, three, times a week. I haven't had time, 
And before changing the LED lamp, I want to see how the plants and fish in the aquarium look. The price difference between LED lamps is huge. This plant, hornwort, grew very quickly. And green hair algae grew quickly too. This red tiger lotus leaf shows signs of nutrient deficiency, but the plant has adapted to grow with fewer nutrients. And again, algae. A new species of plant has lost its fight for survival in this aquarium. Ironically, right next to it, this red plant looks better than ever. Exactly the same thing with this Bucephalandra plant. I was surprised to see that this Bucephalandra had grown beautifully. While on the same piece of wood, there was another Bucephalandra plant that was barely visible. And another contrast. This green plant is wilting and will most likely die in a few weeks. While this red plant, which although has some holes in its leaves, is growing surprisingly well. I don't exaggerate with adding water. In order to complete the evaporated water, I will add a maximum of one liter of water. Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I will add another one liter of water. After making sure that the light can also reach the smaller plants, I present to you the new light source. I'm going to switch from a budget LED to a more expensive LED. I want to see if a more expensive light source is even better. But this LED comes with some advantages and some disadvantages. I won't talk about the advantages now. Because I don't know if there are any advantages until I see how the plants grow. However, I can only mention that this new LED comes with some orange LEDs that should cover a gap in the light spectrum. It has a wired remote control with which you can set the lighting duration of 6, 8, or 10 hours per day. It also has a dimmer with which you can set the light intensity. But you cannot set the intensity of each color individually. Can this new LED lamp be a better solution for the plants in this aquarium? Does more expensive always mean better? On this YouTube channel, you will find solutions and tips for your low-tech aquarium.